Are headaches, skin rashes, hives, or digestive issues ruining your life? These could be signs of a condition called histamine intolerance. Stick around to learn some surprising causes and how you can heal histamine intolerance naturally. Hi, I'm Dr. Jess Bilger, the health and beauty doc. I'm here to simplify your journey to better health and beauty with science-backed tips and holistic solutions. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for weekly health and beauty insights that can help you feel your best inside and out. So what is histamine intolerance? Histamine intolerance occurs when your body struggles to break down histamine. Histamine is a chemical compound released by specific immune cells called mast cells during an immune response. Histamine plays an essential role in the immune system, digestion, and communication within the nervous system. However, when its levels are unbalanced, it can lead to an array of symptoms such as headaches, flushing, rashes and hives, nasal congestion, digestive issues, and even mood disturbances like anxiety. These symptoms can be confusing as they often mimic allergies or other medical conditions. I personally have struggled with histamine intolerance for years with massive full body hives and rashes that were very frustrating and difficult to manage. I've been able to massively improve my own symptoms and heal my underlying immune dysfunction with the strategies I'll talk about in this video. If you, like myself, have ever dealt with any of these symptoms, let me know in the comments. So what causes histamine intolerance? The causes are often multifaceted, so let's break them down. First off, we have enzyme deficiencies. The enzyme DAO, or diamine oxidase, is responsible for breaking down histamine in the gut. Low DAO levels due to genetics, inflammation, or medications are a primary driver of histamine buildup. Next, we have gut health issues. Leaky gut, SIBO, or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and dysbiosis can disrupt the breakdown and processing of histamine. Additionally, we have high histamine foods. There are many foods, even if they're healthy, that can increase histamine levels in the body. In addition, we have hormonal imbalances. Estrogen dominance can upregulate histamine, which is why many women notice symptoms worsening during their menstrual cycles. Additionally, certain drugs like NSAIDs or antidepressants can block DAO activity or trigger histamine release. All right, now let's talk about how histamine intolerance is diagnosed. Diagnosing histamine intolerance isn't always straightforward, but here are a few approaches that can help narrow it down. First up, we have symptom tracking. This includes keeping a food and symptom diary, which can help reveal patterns linking your diet to specific symptoms. Another method is to do blood tests that measure histamine and DAO levels, which can provide insights on how these chemicals are being broken down in the body. Next, an elimination diet that consists of removing high histamine foods from the diet and then systematically reintroducing them can be helpful for identifying triggers to your histamine response. Another thing that can provide insight is gut health testing. There are some integrative tests that can look for markers of gut inflammation, leaky gut, SIBO, and even parasites that can contribute to your symptoms. If you're dealing with persistent symptoms, consider working with an integrative health provider to explore some of these options. Before I cover various integrative strategies to manage and naturally heal histamine intolerance, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more videos that break down complex health topics into easy to understand tips. It helps support my channel and helps this information reach more people who can benefit from it. All right, let's talk about the integrative health strategies to manage and heal histamine intolerance. First off, we have addressing the root causes. Traditional Western medicine often relies on antihistamines such as H1 receptor antagonists or H2 receptor antagonists. Medications such as Zyrtec, Benadryl, and Hydroxyzine are often used to manage the symptoms of histamine intolerance. While these can provide temporary relief, they act as a band-aid solution, masking the symptoms rather than addressing the underlying causes. To truly manage and heal histamine intolerance, it's essential to identify and resolve the root issues. Whether it's gut health, an enzyme deficiency, or inflammatory triggers that are driving the autoimmune response. Next, adopting a low histamine diet is essential for managing symptoms. Avoid histamine rich foods such as aged cheeses, certain fish like anchovies, mackerel, and sardines, processed meats like salami and ham, fermented foods, spinach, and yogurt. Additionally, limit histamine releasing foods like alcohol bananas, chocolate, eggs, milk, nuts, shellfish, and even tomatoes, as they can worsen symptoms by triggering histamine release. 
For many of my patients, strict elimination diets like the carnivore diet, focusing on ruminant meats and bone broth, have been transformative in their symptoms. This approach not only reduces dietary histamine, but also supports gut healing by removing inflammatory foods. After following this protocol for a few months, many patients experienced significant improvements, with some finding their histamine intolerance completely resolved. They are then able to gradually reintroduce foods, building a diet that works for their unique needs. Next, healing your gut is foundational to managing histamine intolerance. Probiotics like Lactobacillus rhamnosus not only support a healthy microbiome, but also help regulate the immune system's response to histamine. Incorporating gut healing foods like bone broth and aloe vera can repair the intestinal lining, which is often compromised in conditions like leaky gut. A healthier gut lining reduces systemic inflammation, improving your body's ability to process histamine efficiently. Additionally, fermented foods, while generally beneficial for gut health, should be avoided initially as they can be high in histamine. Next, boosting DAO activity is a critical step in managing histamine intolerance. DAO is the enzyme responsible for breaking down histamine in the gut, and when levels are insufficient, histamine builds up and triggers symptoms. Certain supplements like DAO enzymes can provide direct support by helping to metabolize histamine, especially before consuming high histamine meals. Additionally, focusing on nutrients that naturally enhance DAO production, such as vitamin B6, copper, and omega-3 fatty acids can further support the body's ability to process histamine efficiently. By combining targeted supplementation with dietary adjustments, you can significantly reduce histamine-related symptoms. Next, you need to manage stress. Chronic stress can exacerbate symptoms by disrupting gut health, increasing inflammation, and altering hormone levels, which can all trigger histamine reactions. Stress elevates cortisol, which when consistently high can weaken the immune system and impair your body's ability to regulate histamine. Incorporating stress reduction techniques into your daily routine is essential. Practices like prayer, meditation, and deep breathing can calm the nervous system and reduce stress hormones in just minutes. Frequent exercise such as weightlifting, running, or yoga not only help manage stress, but also improve gut health and overall resilience to triggers. Having struggled for years with horrible symptoms of histamine intolerance myself, I know firsthand how overwhelming and stuck you can feel. But do not give up. You can heal from these symptoms naturally by carefully implementing the strategies I've discussed in this video. I've seen massive improvements in my own health and I know you can too. Please let me know in the comments if you have more questions about histamine intolerance or what to do about it. If this video helped you better understand histamine intolerance, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Here's to feeling your best inside and out.